African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the special military operation on the 26th of March, 2023. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation. In Kupansk direction, the Zapad group of forces artillery and army aviation has hit enemy manpower and armor close to Stelmakovka, Lugansk People's Republic, Vyrechnia, Stepove and Novoselovka, Tabievka, and Sinkanka, Kharkov region. Up to 70 Ukrainian troops, one armored fighting vehicle, and four pickup trucks were destroyed. Moreover, an ammunition depot of the 127th Territorial Defense Brigade was neutralized close to Lukiansi, Kharkov region. In Krasny Lyman direction, ground attack and army aviation, artillery, and heavy flamethrower systems of the center group of forces engaged the units of the armed forces of Ukraine close to Nevskoy, Chervenaya Dybrova, Lugansk People's Republic, Serebryanka, and Grigorovka, Donetsk People's Republic. More than 90 Ukrainian servicemen, four armored fighting vehicles, three motor vehicles, and two D-30 howitzers have been destroyed during the day in this direction. In Donetsk direction, the units of the U group of forces, aviation, and artillery annihilated over 200 Ukrainian troops, nine armored fighting vehicles, two pickup trucks, one Grad MLRS vehicle, two Mstubi howitzers, two D-30 howitzers, one Polish-made Krov self-propelled artillery system, and two U.S.-made and slash TPQ-50 radar systems in the past 24 hours. An ammunition depot of the 56th Motorized Infantry Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces has been hit close to Kramatorsk, Donetsk People's Republic. In South Donetsk and Zaporizhzhia directions, aviation and artillery of the Vostok Group of Forces inflicted fire damage on the armed forces of Ukraine units close to Ugladar, Prechestovka, Donetsk People's Republic, and Malinovka, Zaporizhzhia region. The total losses of the enemy in these directions amounted to 60 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, three motor vehicles, and two D-30 howitzers. In Kherson direction, the fire damage has neutralized over 20 Ukrainian troops, one Akatsiya self-propelled howitzer, and one U.S.-made M777 artillery system during the day. Operational Tactical and Army Aviation, Missile Troops and Artillery of the Russian Groups of Forces have neutralized 84 armed forces of Ukraine artillery units at their firing positions, enemies' manpower and hardware in 128 areas during the day. Fighter Aviation of the Russian Aerospace Forces has shot down one Mi-8 aircraft of Ukrainian Air Force near Dmitrov, Donetsk People's Republic. Air Defense Forces have intercepted seven Himars MLRS projectiles during the day. Moreover, 14 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles were shot down close to Varvarovka, Shenignoy, Krasnorechenskoy, Lugansk People's Republic, Kirilovka, Volnovaka, Yasinovateya, Donetsk People's Republic, Tokmak, and Boloki, Zaporizhzhia region. In total, 404 airplanes and 225 helicopters, 3,587 unmanned aerial vehicles, 414 air defense missile systems, 8,415 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 1,073 combat vehicles equipped with MLRS, 4,440 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 9,126 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.